Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these uh, full-size library style bookcases. And they have a, a cabinet at the bottom. I don't, I didn't put shelves inside here, but you could. The bookcases are designed to be floor to ceiling. These are eight foot tall. And there's an unfinished corner one there. I'll do a video on later. I have the design in uh, OpenSCAD and I'll make that file available as well. Although you don't actually need the design, it's helpful. But I'll show you how to build the bookcase and you can actually download the design for free if you like. The design for this bookcase is uh, completely made in OpenSCAD and I'm going to provide uh, these files for you. They are, are free to download. Uh, this is under a Creative Commons license so you can you can use this uh, as you please uh, for non-commercial purposes. So you can also uh, change them a little, do whatever you want with them under the, the uh, Creative Commons license and you're able to view exactly how the bookcase is uh, put together here and I will provide uh, a link for the files uh, the open SCAD software you can download free from the internet just look for openscad.org and I'll provide the links in the video These planks are 12 inches, the actual size 11.5 or 11 and a quarter, I think. Um, and they are exactly 36 inches long, three feet long. Um, I've cut these uh, four pieces of one by 12 to 36 inches exactly. And I also cut this uh, one by two to the exact length. And I've got three pieces of that. Um, these one by two support the shelves. Um, I, um, I use these type of wood screws. They're going to sink in and then I'll use a little bit of wood putty to cover it and they'll be barely noticeable. Although there's probably a nicer way to do that, but this works well for me. Uh, I pre-drilled these so that it lines up right. Then I'll put some wood glue in there and uh, attach these attach these uh, one by twos to the bottoms. I use this type of glue. Uh, don't put too much glue on these because it's, uh, you don't want it uh, coming out on the sides. It's difficult to clean off later. <clears throat> these are the four top shelves. So, the three of these have that support one by two, but the top one doesn't because it won't be carrying any weight at the very top. And also it will be covered by another feature. Um, these are going to be spaced 16 inches apart. And uh, so if that's the top one, that's the one below, that's one below that, etc. Uh, below here comes um, a larger shelf that sticks out and that would be the top of a cabinet that needs to be cut still this is the bottom shelf and it covers the cabinet below it'll be need to uh, this will need to be cut out and on this side is marked as well and that actually lines up with those so this cuts out exactly uh a one by twelve on that side and on this side this uh this thing was a foot too long i only sold in four feet pieces this particular bookcase is going to be three feet wide now we have uh all the shelves complete and this is the bottom shelf that ends up being the top of the cabinet that goes to the bottom the first 32 inches These are the sides and top of the bookcase and I've marked 
3264 AD on both sides. We won't see this side anyway. This will be the center of the shelf, so shelves will go here. It's marked on both sides. I'm first putting everything together with uh, just two screws on each side without any glue. Uh, it's easy to uh, to line things up this way. And uh, then I'll glue one side at a time, but the holes will already be in the right place. I'm not tightening these all the way. They just go far enough to hold everything in place. Now with the, these screws on the top side in, I was able to tilt the shelf this way and it stays together just fine. So now I can mark mark this side here, the same places, and make sure everything is straight. And I'll put one screw each, again, not all the way tight. And then it'll be possible later to take one side off completely and, and glue it while the other side is still screwed in. Both sides now have uh, uh, two screws per shelf and they're not all the way tight. So I'm gonna take this whole side out. I'm going to uh, leave the screws in about that far. Take this side off, uh, glue it, and uh, put it back on. So I just took the side off, leaving the, uh, the screws in there just a part of the way. So now I can put some glue on these surfaces and then I'll tighten this side uh, permanently. I've got a bit of glue on each. I went ahead and cut the back panel. This this is part of the back panel that will cover one, two, the first three shelves here. I'll cut another back panel for this, and this won't have a back. That'll be the cabinet, but it will have front doors made out of the same material. So I'm gonna place that on here now. Part of the reason for putting this back panel on now while this is still curing is to make sure everything is straight because these uh, back panels definitely enforces that the whole thing is uh, straight. Back panel is glued as well. So this is pre-glued right now. There we have partially built bookcase. I'm building these sides. These sides go here. They go here. Okay. That's a one by two and a one by four angle. Here's the next one about to be glued. We also cut a piece of two by four, the exact same length as this corner piece we just built and one for the other side as well. This two by four will mount on it like this uh, with enough room for another two by four in here. This is how, how it will mount. So these pieces are just temporary to space it you see how the corner is constructed. So this is the side view. The front is actually below. And this will mount here. So I can apply glue here a little bit more liberally because it will be on the inside. 
So one finished corner piece like this. We'll now mount here. And I applied some glue on the sides, the mounting sides. Here's the other side. This will go on that side there. So putting this right side, I've already pre-installed partially the screws and this just fits right in there like that. So I will uh, put some glue on here first and then tighten it. Now remember the shelves, all these were cut to, how this happened, everything was cut to exactly 36 inches. So we've got two two by fours that I cut exactly to 36 inches. That will uh, slide in here. I'll slide that guy to the top and then put the second one in. Top one's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom one in with a little bit of glue. Next, we installed the uh, one by three pieces here and then they finished the door frame. So the doors will go inside here. Another one will be needed up there. This one by eight covers the the top portion there, we're going to cut a nice curve in there. And this is a one by three. We'll have a one by three lining each uh, side. I'm going to be using a plate to draw the round sh uh, sh shapes to uh, line them out that I want to cut out here. So this is where I want to cut. And uh, you see I want a quarter turn with the plate and a straight line to this side. I'm going to cut that out with the jigsaw. That guy there. All right, so cut this piece out. It was quite easy to do with the jigsaw. On this saw, make sure you have a, a blade that's not very, uh, very wide because otherwise it's difficult to make the turn. And be really careful to steer because these uh, grains will work against you. So you just have to pay really close attention to following the line. <clears throat> it's starting to look like the uh, bookcase we designed. These are just uh, two scrap pieces of two by four, same length. And these will hold in the uh, center. The center frame, which will go like this, but I haven't cut it to size yet. It's time to cut this back panel here. This is a 16 and a half inches total, includes the boards here. This uh, bottom piece is not going to have a back panel. Here we have the almost finished, it needs to be sanded. Need to fill these holes with wood filler, sand everything and then uh, build the doors and put the molding on to finish completely. So at this point I filled the holes from the screws with wood filler.
you don't see any anything obvious at this time and next is a matter of uh, sanding it all to rounded corners to make it look nice Since these pieces are already at the right length, we can kind of see, we can pretty much see exactly where to cut it. Two small hinges, five inches in each, will hold the door in. These uh, small screws with uh, some pre-drilled holes may hold in the molding of the door.